CFA versus CPA. I don't know why this is coming up so frequently uh, because they're quite different for why you take them. But once again, in this video, we are here to answer all the questions that people have more and more doubts with. So I'm going to cover similarities, the differences, and the right course for you if you're confused. If this is the first time of visiting the channel, then please do please subscribe. And if you find value, then please give us a thumbs up. All right, first things first. Similarity. Or rather, what are these two courses, right? The CFA, as we know, is the number one course in finance. It's a US-based qualification recognized everywhere in the world, including India. CPA US is the CA of US, uh, again, recognized worldwide, including in India. But CFA is a specialization in finance. CPA is chartered accounting. So if you know the difference, good. That should be the first reason of why you choose it. But if you don't know the difference, if you basically want to get into money management, if you want to get into the field of specialized finance, you want to get into portfolio management, you want to get into investment banking, CFA is the right way. You want to get into reporting, financial reporting, you want to get into details of accounting or auditing or taxation for US companies, or you are actually open to almost anything in the field of accounts and finance, CPA becomes the course for you. In recognition, both are well recognized across the world. If you complete CFA and you complete CPA, I can see that in India, you can get a similar package of ranging between 7 to 10 lakhs and could be more. Uh, but I'm talking about freshers for both. Uh, you will need work experience in both as well. So assuming you complete the exams and the required work experience, you can get anywhere between a 7 to 10 lakh package in India, I can see. Overseas, again, all are well recognized. Let's start with the other differences, right? Eligibility. So CFA, you can start uh, currently in India. If you are doing a three-year BCom, you can start in your second year, otherwise your third year. CPA, you need a 12 plus four year academic in most of the cases. So you can even do CPA sometimes after CFA if you want to go down that route of having multiple qualifications, all of them being international and US. -based. When it comes to the academic structure, CFA has three levels. Each level has 10, 10 subjects, which change in weightages as you move along. Exams are held across the year. And I think you can complete CFA in two to three years, more or less. All are computer based. CFA also has a decent passing rate of 40 to 50% across the world, but they'll pay we push a little harder. So we have almost a double passing rate, 80% odd. Our paper patterns are completely objective for level one and level two and subjective for level three. All are computer based. CPA. CPA has uh, all exams computer based. They have only four exams. You can complete them in less than a year or up to a year, depending on your speed. They are also a mix of objective and subjective. And you can again give the exams across the year. So earlier, not allowed to give in India since the pandemic, they've started that as well. That led to an explosion of CPA, people who complete CPA. Otherwise, you have to go to Dubai or US and it would bring the cost a little higher. But yeah, that's about it. So you can manage the passing rate of CPA is also decently high. We've also trained in CPA. I know that we can get people to land up clearing more or less in the first attempt. Uh, scope wise, yeah, CFA goes into the finance side. Like I said, portfolio management, investment banking, wealth management, corporate finance and the like. And CPA, I've seen while you can, CPAs can do this if they want by specializing in CPAs mainly go in accounting, advisory, auditing, taxation of US, etc, etc. Fees wise, CFA is three, three and a half lakhs. Maybe can go. Yeah, that's I think the range. CPA can go four and a half, five lakhs, depending on how many times you give it, where you give it, etc. Et so I would not say the cost is too different because once again, once you complete both of them, you're going to be able to recover the cost irrespective. Now, what is it for you? Uh, again, simply put, if you're looking at content or rather what is the course about, you like finance early on in life, you know that CFA, otherwise you can do CPA because it will cover everything, but it's a little more, it involves reporting and accounting and things like that, compliance as well. Uh, if you're looking at it from a difficulty perspective, it doesn't matter. Both are going to require massive effort, but enough to have anybody who is disciplined pass the exam. You don't need to be a math or accounting genius. If you look at it from where you are today, it will depend. If you are in college, you cannot do CPA, you might as well do CFA. If you're a graduate, CPA will take you a little lesser time, but CFA is more easy to get you know, into somewhere because CFA level one, you can start working. But yeah, otherwise CPA is also great. If you're a chartered accountant, I've made videos on CFA after CA, you can have a look. But if people who are chartered accountants want to either have international exposure or they want to get into the field of finance, they do CFA. Those who are chartered accountants want to move to US, they'll end up doing CPA. They also end up doing CMA sometimes. So you can again check out those videos that we made on US CMA, but otherwise CPA. So I think uh, if I've missed anything, as always, let me know in the comments. We will reply, maybe make a specific video like this for you guys.